is the lack of AI smart upscaling a big issue in Affinity Photo or can we live without it by simply stretching up those pixels with a regular upscaling here? Today I'm going to do a little test. I will simply stretch up this image to 2000 pixel high. Currently it's only 1000 pixels high. So take a look. If I zoom in, I can see that it's not in very high quality. I can see pixels straight away. So I will do this here in Affinity Photo, but I will also use two third party apps. So we'll also use Pixelmator Pro and Lumina Neo and compare those three results to see that it's, it's rather similar. Oh, it's a big deal that this kind of upscaling mode is still missing here in Affinity Photo. So let's get started by stretching up the document area. I click the crop tool and now I can simply make the height double. You can just type times two, enter, and we will need to make the width of this document big enough to compare all three results. So let's make it times six, enter. Now confirm the new size by clicking apply. Here it is. All right, so that's the original one and I'm going to stretch it up now just by pulling this all the way to 2000 pixels. Bam, okay. So that's our original one from Affinity Photo. Let's head to Pixamai to Pro. Here I am. Now I'm going to upscale this image within this software. So I hit to image, image size. And from here, I will be able to change the size of it. Right now it's 1000 pixels high. I will change it to 2000 to match the one I already made. And take a look, we can turn on super resolution. It will use a machine learning to preserve details and sharpness. So we kind of using machine learning for that. I click OK. And here it is. They're even showing us the result here straight away compared with the original one. So let's look into that. Yep, we can see pixels on the left and the one on the right is way sharper. So that's higher resolution. I hope you can see it in the video. Be sure you're watching this in 1440p. Yep, we got pixels. Look at this eye. Pixelated and sharp. All right, I am happy with this result, so I click done. And now I'm going to export this as JPEG and put into Affinity Photo. All right, here's our second image. I will not zoom in just yet. Let's create one more in Lumina Neo. So here I am in Lumina Neo. Now I select the very same image and on the right side in the catalog view, there is an upscale tool. Let's click on that and drag and drop my image. Times two, that's exactly what we did before. So we'll select that and click upscale. All right, now I'm going to export this upscale version to JPEG again so we can compare them. All right, now we got all three images in. So let's get started by zooming in a bit. This is the first one on the left. I simply stretch it up here in Affinity Photo. Here's the second one from Pixelmator Pro. And here's the third one from Lumina Neo. Now I will stack them above each other so we can just turn on and off layers to see difference. All right, so that's the one we just stretch up with a move tool. Let's switch off this layer. And as you can see, the one from Pixelmator is a bit sharper. No pixel. So we kind of got those large pixels now because we just stretch everything up. So some pixels are larger than they should be. Oh, I hope you can see it. All right, switch off. That's the Pixelmator Pro. And then the last one is Lumina Neo. And that's the sharpest one in my opinion. Let's zoom even closer. 
All right, this is the Lumina Neo Pixelmator Pro. And without any upscaling, just stretching up the image inside Affinity Photo. So as you can see, there is a difference and our complaints are justified. So let's hope in future updates, we will get a proper machine learning upscaling here in Affinity Photo. For now, we can use some third party apps like Pixelmator Pro or Lumina Neo. If you'd like to learn more about Lumia Neo, I will drop my link in the description as well. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.